Their roof. Their roof. Their roof. Their roof is on fire. How we go from to this? Hey guys, I'm Jalika. Welcome to my channel, Jalika. So today I'm going to be installing this wig and customizing it and showing you guys how I customized it. This is a synthetic wig. Today I didn't do any glue on it. I honestly don't really suggest doing glue with this wig because it is synthetic and because it's so full it can be kind of tedious over time so i'm going to be showing you guys how to install and how i cut it because it didn't come like this like the curls so i kind of customized it and so i'm going to show you guys how i did that and how like i got it to lay and everything but make sure that you guys like comment share and subscribe um and yeah, let's get into the tutorial for me. Jesus! This is how we're starting out, okay? Yesterday I washed my hair. I told my mom do rag is a little crooked. But I braided it back. And I made sure that these parts were flat. So it's not lumpy under the wig. But what I also did was I put got to be glue last night before I wrapped up my hair so that it dries flat and like slick back so that I won't have any hair being glued down and now y'all can see the light beaming off my forehead don't make jokes okay anyways the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to pin up these bad boys now another pretty important step that i would really recommend like this is not really something that you have to do but this is something that is important for me because i'm not trying to be patting my wig okay this is actually important because you don't want your scalp to be dry. In this bottle, I have black castor oil and olive oil mixed together. As you can see, I have glued back, not glued back, I have oiled my scalp. Now, I will be showing you how I put on my wig cap because I mean like I wouldn't really record this part because it's just a standard way of putting on a wig cap I guess so you have your wig cap looking like this and then you go get my razor I need to get my razor oh yes have your blow dryer ready I'll put on got to be on the um, edges but not too much you know because I don't want it to be heavy. I just want it to be enough to where it will hold down the wig cap. Hey, if you need to be like me and work in sections, so be it, mama. Do what you gotta do. You already know what time it is. I'm gonna hit it with the got to be. Got to be glued spray. I'm going to use my little scissors. Oh wow, I can see you guys again. Hey! Now I am going to create my hairline, I guess. You could call it, if you want to call it that, if you want to say that. okay so now as you can see my wig cap is on what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on foundation on my wig cap like to about right here where the line is and I'm going to just put on foundation about like right up to there BRB it 
Okay, you don't want to put too much. I know a lot of you aren't using like um airbrush. When you do brush, just make sure you're doing it in the direction of the wig cap because the wig cap does have lines in it. So that's how you want to do it. You're supposed to look bold, okay? You're supposed to look bold. If you don't look bold after you finish doing your wig cap, okay? You didn't do it properly. But yeah, girl, you're supposed to look bold. And that's what it's giving here, like seamless. Boldness. Through and through. Always in my face. Talking this and that. I don't play with me, bro. When I first bought this wig, it was practice for when I get um, a human hair wig, which I will be doing sometime soon. I'll be doing a human hair wig and like dyeing it because I want orange hair, y'all. I know, I know what, orange hair. But yes, I want to be a ginger. So in the look that I had done um, on my TikTok and my Instagram, that look was done in the color flamboyage sand but i'm going to be installing the color flamboyage blonde now the difference between the two colors is that one is more ashy and one is more burnt now she's a hot mess right now she's looking like ratty and matted this is flamboyage sand if you wanted like a more muted blonde and this is flamboyage blonde. It's kind of like brown with blonde streaks in it, like a lighter brown. This is what it looks like when you take it out of the box. Okay, it looks like a beauty pageant wig. I know, like she's she's not giving what it's supposed to give right now. But she definitely has the volume, and they have the baby hairs already curled, which which makes it nice. Um, but this is a synthetic wig, y'all. Like, look at it. Look at it. Like, come on now. Nah. Come on. This is actually, like, really great for a synthetic wig. I also think that this colorway is really nice. This is what she looks like. A lot of customization really needed here. The curls need to be brushed out and everything. But it's okay, because we gonna get into it. So... I didn't really do much to the hairline. The only thing that I really needed to pluck, and I'll show you guys, is when I parted. The hairline is pre-plucked. Not really much needs to be done in terms of, you know, hairline. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the combs in the wig, which I didn't do the first time, but I'm going to do it this time. After I take out these combs, I'm going to show you what it looks like, like, fitted on my head. Cut out all of the combs out of the wig i think it's a 13 by 6 oh yes it's a 13 by 6 so this is what it looks like right off the bat without any customization or anything and without being laid down the baby hairs are already made for you but yes um this is what she's giving right now not really much to be honest with you um but the hairline is not bad like of course the knots aren't bleached because it is synthetic but the hairline is actually really really good i'm going to also put foundation right in here because this is hd transparent lace but i would like it a little bit more customized and now a lot of you might be thinking hmm. This is a lot of work for a wig that you're only going to really wear for three days. Listen, you don't got to do all that, okay? You don't got to do all this. It seems like it can be worn as a glueless wig as well. I wouldn't say that. You would have to do all this, but you know me. I'm extra, so I'm going to do all this regardless. I'm going to go ahead and put foundation on the wig. Just me and my boss, no <laughs> This is what she looks like. This is definitely a really nice glueless wig. But so anyways, how I customized it is I decided my part. 
I parted it, which by the way, this is what it looks like parted. Now because of the you know, wig cap method that I just used. And I'm just parting it straight down, making sure it's a straight line. So this is the part. You're just gonna go in with some tweezers and just like move the hair to the side a little bit and pluck. Honestly, you can put on this wig without plucking, but this is just what I did. It's pretty much already pre-plugged. I don't know if you guys can tell, but just go in and roughly plug. I didn't like do like too much thinking about the plucking really. I am going to cut it. See, this is the part where you glue it down. I'm not gonna glue it down, but you you guys can. Um, only because last time I glued it down because it is synthetic and because it's so big too, going to sleep with it was like a hassle and you know, I just want to take it off at the end of the day. So basically how you would cut out the, you just want to cut off the lace just like you would any, you know, regular wig. I'm going to pin it back and cut off the lace. Make sure you do it jagged, like with a jagged edge. You don't want to um, cut off, cut off the lace straight. You want it to be jagged, like that. Ow! The hook is, is back there catching my grannies. I'm adjusting the strap in the back to better hold my head, since I'm not gonna be gluing it down. But if you wanted the extra security, you can definitely even just take some got to be gel and just press it down and blow dry it to have the sides glued down here. But so far, this is what it looks like glueless. Okay, and I'm gonna show you guys how I customize it. So to customize it, you're going to need a brush, a curling iron, and a scissors. Now, would I recommend something better than these play play scissors? Baseball printed? Yes, but it gets the job done. So, you could judge all you want, but as the curling iron is warming up, I am going to cut it. The first thing that you kind of want to do is brush out the curls because. As you can tell, these these curls could be could be actually doing something if they were brushed out. Look at that. They already look 10 times better. This wig can give with the right owner. Like if you can rock big hair by all means. If you don't like big hair, that's just you, you know? But a lot can really be done with it. If you can see the potential in her honestly this can be worn oh look at that oh my gosh just brush her the right way just put your hand underneath her and go outwards with those curls you already kind of have the look that we're going for here the only thing that I did was cut it so that I have more volume with more layers and if you wanted to wear it just like that you could wear it just like that pull out the baby hairs and maybe cut them a little bit and then you're straight it's pretty hot right now so I'm just going to take it just flatten out the part so that it's not puffy you want to flatten it out and hold it look at the difference I just burnt myself. Ow. That's how you get her to be flat here. I actually haven't had her at this length with makeup on. So I think I just might do that. Should I, you guys? Ah, oh, dang it. I'll be right back. As you can see, I've done my makeup and I've come back. Okay, the setting spray is drying. Don't mind how it looks right now. Let's see how she looks. The 
Los Angeles, India. Oh my gosh, she's giving. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna cut her still because I said I would. Okay. Listen. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I almost don't want to cut it. So, here we go. Like I said before, just take your scissors, okay? They're already kind of like sectioned off into like the different, um, curls. So you're gonna take these two curls. You can clip the rest back. Curls, these two sections, sorry, and then you can clip the rest back. But what you're gonna do is you're going to cut it at an angle, okay? So you're gonna take your scissors or even you know your razor comb if you want to do that. And you're gonna cut it down away from your face at an angle remember you're cutting it so that um when you curl it it'll come up this is what it should look like cut it. sometimes the thing gets tedious you can just go ahead and take your scissors Cutting it with the scissors will give you a more blunt edge, which will in turn make the layer fuller. So you wanna do the same thing for the other side. Just, um, okay. You wanna see, look if it's even, it is not even. So I'm gonna just, I think I actually took out more on this side than I did on this side, so I'm gonna take out a little bit more for here. Yeah, 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 it's gonna be imperfect, guys, but yeah. So basically, you just want to cut like at a slant, that's what you want to do, cut at a slant. Now, over here, it's kind of like in this slantedness. Don't be shy. It's cut like this now. Okay. Now the next side. Take down the next part which is about right here. It's already this short. Remember. Because it's already in layers. Brush this part out. But like if I was to pull this. It would be like right here. So that's where I'm going to start. Just like that. I know you guys. I know you're thinking, well, it doesn't really look that good right now. Just wait on it, okay? Just wait on it. Trust the process. That's what we're trying to do here is trust the process. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I think you guys are kind of like seeing the, the pattern right now, taking sections of it, and we are cutting it slanted. Loki, these sections could be a bit uneven, but it doesn't really matter all that much, to be honest with you. So, as you can see, we have a little bit more volume here. Then I'm gonna just go right here, take a bow right there, and clip it up. So, this one, you're probably gonna have to put into two sections, to be honest with you. So like the top section and the bottom section, but all in all, it's the same thing. Trust me, when you do it up like this, it's gonna be really full. I'm sectioning off this back part now. Remember, the longer it is, the easier it is to tangle. So, I mean, that's what you want. Low key, I cut this part a little too short. <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. I'm gonna do this. I'm 
I'm just doing it roughly right now. This low key was supposed to be down here. Y'all see how much I cut off? So y'all be careful. Don't be like me. I think that once I start cutting, I get scissor happy. This is basically how it's looking. It's a little, it's a little uneven. Dang, how did I cut off that much hair over there? Y'all couldn't say nothing. Look, you see how it looks kind of like, but it's, it's like a good gradual thing going on. We're still going to cut off a lot back here. So now this, this last part is sectioned into two, two light in the back. I don't think it matters which way the slant goes to be honest with you I just me personally I just eyeball it okay so now that I've done this gotten hair all over me it actually should be much easier also to brush through and already you can see that we have the the layers working for us here um this is how you brush her you will brush her and hold your hand under to make the curls go up just like this this is going to need to be recurled but i'm going to show you how i do it in a second so like this and then once you get her like that you are going to turn your head upside down judge it from the bottom come back up and she'll be nice and full like that look at that look how one is longer than the other <laughs> it's okay and then you're just gonna take that this oh wow that is a difference huh it's all right I'm gonna show you how I curl that while the hot iron is heating up to curl those front pieces I took out my baby hairs but the the baby hair is already cut as you can see um, I'm gonna cut it some more and I'm gonna just show you guys how I do my baby hairs on this wig These are also something you want to cut kind of like at an angle. I just put down some of the edge control at the bottom. You can take your edge brush if you want. I'm going to just be using a regular comb. And just lay down your edges. I do recommend though like putting something to lay down the edges so that they're trained you're gonna take your curling iron I mean I use a curling iron if you want to use a flat iron you can a lot of people say that the the, the curling iron is harder than the flat iron and I disagree I just cannot wrap my mind around how you guys curl with the flat iron. I don't know how you guys do it. But basically, you're going to turn it upside down. You're going to turn it upside down. And then you're going to let go of the curl. Then you're going to hold the heat in place because this is a synthetic wig. So you're going to need to hold the heat on the curl so that it stays like this. So now, once it's like that, you're going to take your brush brush it away from your face like that and then 
for this part up here for it to be like out of your face you can just put the curling iron here do that and then hold that there like that then boom brush these down like that down and out like that then you're going to go upside down you can shake it out now when you come back up you have the volume I mean just play with it really until you get the look that you want this one is just doing its own thing right now excuse me ma'am get back to your seat and that's how I did it so so this is the finished look. Ooh, I'm feeling myself. It looks good. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed the tutorial. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and tell your little friends. Okay, tell your little friends about me. Oh my god, my eyelash. Anyways, tell your friends about my channel. Whoever you think may enjoy it. I hope you guys really like this tutorial. And yeah, let me know what you want more of. Make sure you guys follow me on all of my social medias. Anyways. Um, yeah, I mean, that's 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 pretty much it for the tutorial. Um, nothing else I really have to say.